Welcome to the Sage Pastel Counting How To video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create a new company using the Setup Assistant. The Setup Assistant is a preferred method of creating a new company as this creates a company with all the necessary general ledger, entry types and controls set up. In order to create a new company, using the Setup Assistant, click on File New. The new company screen will display. Under New Company Name, please enter an 8-character name that is only alphanumeric. Please do not use any special characters such as hash, exclamation or at. Once you have given the new company a folder name, please ensure under Method, Use Setup Assistant is selected and click on Create. The Pastel Setup Assistant wizard will display, advising you that the Setup Assistant creates the company data in a standard, editable format and that once the company is set up, you can modify whatever needs to be modified. There are 12 screens in the Assistant, including the screen currently displayed. In order to continue, click on Next. The Company Information screen will display where you can enter the full company name that will appear on your reports as well as your postal address and information. Under information, you can include things like your Facebook page, your Twitter page, or your website address. Once you have entered all the necessary information, click on Next and the date format screen will display. You can choose between three different date formats, as well as choose the year format, whether you wish it to display two digits per year or four digits per year. Please make your selection and click on Next. The period setup screen will display. Pastel will set up your financial periods using the information you provide here. You will need to enter the start of your financial period and you will need to indicate when each period ends. Does it end on the last day of the month or on the same day of each month? If it ends on the same day of each month, please enter the day on which each period ends. Enter your start date for your financial period and select between the last day of the month or on the same day of each month. Once you have made your selections and filled in the relevant information, click on Next. The Period Setup Continued screen will display. Here you will specify the number of periods in the financial year. You can specify up to 13 periods. The 13th period is a period of grace that allows you to finalize your year end. If you do enter 13 periods, please ensure that you tick the option to use the last period as the first period of next year, otherwise this will alter your financial year. Click on Next and the Chart of Accounts screen will display. Here you can choose between many preset chart of accounts from the list displayed. If you select one of the different options, you will see that in the block underneath, it will provide you with the general ledger chart of accounts. Please go through each chart of accounts and select the one closest to what you require and click on Next. The Cashbook Bank Account screen will display. Here you can enter the number of cash books that you need to create for the company. Please note that you can add extra bank accounts later. You can also give your bank accounts a name once you have entered the number of cash books and named them you can click on next the inventory price list screen will display if you do not use inventory you can ignore the screen if you do use inventory you can now name your price list accordingly for example wholesale retail and member Please note that Express only allows you to create three price lists, whereas Partner allows you to create 10. Once you have created your price lists and named them, please tick the one that is most common, i.e. the one that most of your customers will be linked to, and click on Next. The default term screen will display. Here you can choose if you want your customers to be period, which is month-based, or day-based, where you specify how many days the customer should take to pay you. If you select period, you will be asked to choose between current, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, or 120 days. If you select day-based, you can choose between seven days or 14 days. Please note that this is only a default and you can use both within your program. 
This is just the default for which one you will use most often. Make your selection accordingly and click on Next. The customer default screen will display. Here you can choose between two methods. Do you want your customers to be created as open item? This means that you can allocate payments to specific invoices or do you want your customers to be created as balance forward? This means that when the customer makes a payment, it will take the amount off of the total owing. Make your selection accordingly and click on Next. The document printing screen will display. Here you specify the type of paper on which you print your customer and supplier documents. Click on the Paper Style Assistant. You can choose between plain, pre-printed or header pre-printed. Plain means that this is normal white paper. Pre-printed means that you have bought paper that already has pre-printed lines and boxes on it. And header pre-printed may include your logo as well as the pre-printed lines and boxes. Make your selection accordingly and click on Next. You can then choose between single sheet, which is normally A4, or continuous paper. Make your selection accordingly, click on Next and Finish and your paper will display in the block below the Paper Style Assistant. Click on Next and you will be asked to create the company. Please note that all of the settings that you have created can be changed once you open the company. Click on Process and the company will be created according to the specifications you have made. Once the operation has completed, click on Finish and the user security screen will display. Here you can choose whether you wish to use strong passwords, which means that your password needs to have a minimum of eight characters and must contain both upper and lower case letters, as well as one number and one special character. Or you can choose not to have strong passwords, which means that you can create a new password at a maximum of 20 characters and it can contain anything. Enter your password accordingly. And once you have entered your password, you can give your user a name. Once you have named your user, you can also enter the email address. The email address is very important as if the user forgets their password, they can request their password via their email and they will be sent a one-time pin in order to reset it. You will also need to create a security question like what is the name of your cat and then you will need to give it an answer for example ninjago once you have entered all the relevant information click on and your company will open accordingly you have now created a new company using the setup assistant